Right, welcome back guys. We're going to talk about mechanical control systems. So the first example that I have of a mechanical control system is something called a ratchet and paw. So you can see it is a gear mechanism, but it's very special. It's got this little paw that will prevent it from quickly moving back in the wrong direction. So it locks it in position. So um, this kind of mechanism is used very successfully in our seat belts that we find in cars. You guys know that if you uh, relax a seat belt, it will quite happily uh, spool itself back up and it will uh, go back out of the way. But if you pull hard on the seat belt, it then locks itself into position. And one of these ratchet and pulls lock together um, so that it'll save somebody's life. All right, then the next one I've got for you guys is the crank. So we've got a cranking mechanism, like you can see this one will probably be on the end of a trailer for a boat, possibly. <clears throat> and this cranking um, uh, mechanism will then allow you to turn the axle or shaft and you can then manually winch um, a boat or uh, something heavy or in, ca in case... Um, of making a crane, for example, you can manually winch the the thing that you're trying to lift up and down. Um, so that's a, a crank and a winch. And then the next one is a something that you probably would find more in, a, say, sailing or in climbing. We've got very special mechanisms. One of the one at the top here. See if I can get it to focus nicely for you. Is called a cleat. That first one is called a jam cleat. It basically is designed that the rope um, will get trapped inside the very thin little areas there and then you can use it to tie up a boat or moor it or tie up a sail or something like that. And then the one below it, which is very interesting, is something called a jam cleat. Let's see if I can get it to focus nicely here for you. Jam cleat's got some very interesting little teeth into it. You can imagine that rope can quite freely slide through in one direction. But if you try to pull it in the opposite direction, then they dig in and they hold the rope nice and tight. And they kind of lock it in position for you. All right, so there's a couple of um, mechanical control systems. Thank you.